if you work on websites and you want to be able to test on, let's say, an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad, but you also want to be able to do what we can do on our desktop. Like, for instance, I'm in Chrome. I can go into the developer tools and basically, you know, select stuff out here. You know, do things like, hey, let me go grab grab this, grab that, etc. by inspecting. And I can inspect things out here and say, okay, show me the CSS, show me the HTML, and let's take a look and see what's going on. Well, if you go to your phone, let me actually go to my phone, you know, and I go to, let's say, Safari or something like that, and I take a look at it, it's not going to show me those developer tools out of the gate. So if I go to, let's say, I take a look at, I'll tap on Safari here and see if I can get this to show up. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had to kick it in the pants. I had to restart this reflecting thing I have. So you can see on my iOS device, I've got my my website, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, let me go in and scroll a little bit, see what I get. You know, I'm actually, I'm, this is my actual device, so I'm looking to see what I've got. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at the CSS, see what's happening. Okay, well, we can do that. Now, this requires that you be on a Mac. This also requires that you take your iOS device, and the iOS device, I've actually done it on an iPhone 4, uh, in earlier versions, uh, early iPad, things like that. I think you have to be on like iOS um, 5 at least or something like that. It might be iOS 6. Don't quote me on that on your device. But anyway, so I've got a device hooked up. And what I did was I actually took the iOS, the actual iPhone here, and I connected it via USB cable directly to my machine. Okay, that way it's got a direct connection. And usually when you do that, uh, iTunes or something like that will pop up. Well, Hopefully it does anyway. That way I don't need iTunes open, so I closed it. What you can then do is you can go ahead and launch Safari. Okay, now I've got the site open in Safari. It does not matter, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to use Safari as a way to use the developer tools to develop or to test what we got going on on our device. So with the USB device connected here, in Safari, if you go up to Safari here and go to Preferences, now this is... You got to have, I believe you got to have Safari 6 to do this, okay? And you can see right now that I've got Safari 7. I think it's Safari 6 and later, I believe. And I don't believe that, I, I think Safari 5 is the latest on Windows, so I don't think you can do this on Windows. You might, I might be wrong, but I don't think you can. So if you go to Safari Preferences and you go to Advanced, you'll see Show Develop Menu and Toolbar. This, you guys, this is awesome no, no matter what, because if you turn this on, you're going to see a develop menu up here show up. You can also go to a website and you can invoke the developer tools, sort of like you have in Chrome, which is kind of neat. Okay, so once we do that, we've got the develop menu up here. What we then do is you go to your device, and if you go back, we're going to go back to the uh, the general settings. Hopefully I can get this to work. It's going to, it's a little bit slow going back and forth. So if you go to the uh, the settings, let me go back to the general settings here, the main settings. And I'll scroll a little bit. If you go, come on now, you can do it, Reflector. Go back to the Safari settings. So you can see them right there. There we go. Safari settings right there. And if you scroll all the way down in Safari settings, it's going to take a second to catch up here. Down at the very bottom of the menu, when Safari gets, when it opens up, you see here, there's going to be an advanced setting. So you can tap on that, tap on advanced settings. There it is. Advanced right there. And then it's going to go over and say, okay, let's open up the web inspector. So you just turn the web inspector on on the device. Should take a second here. Then what we do, that should slide over. Don't worry, that'll happen. Then what we do is we go back out and go to your Safari browser. And you got to be on Safari browser to do this. Go back to Safari browser, open up the site you want to test. There we go. Now, with the device connected via USB, and I always said, I've already said that 20 times, but... Go back to Safari, go to develop. You should now see your device name and the names of the sites that you can work on. So I'm going to go to Brainwood Training. It's going to open up the web inspector here. Let me make it a little smaller. What's really cool here, just so you can see this, I've got reflector going. So you can see my actual device. And if I start going in here and taking a look, look what it's doing. As I hover, it's starting to show the different sections. So you can see not only the HTML, so you can see all the stuff I've got here, we got like an image right there, et cetera, et cetera. But what I can do is I can go in and see the styles. So I click on styles right up here and you can start to, well, this is, you guys, this is awesome. You can basically start to see what styles are working, what styles aren't, how it's applying things and how it's, you know, doing its thing. Now, 
I have yet to be able to make it to where I can actually, whoops, where I have to have it actually go in and allow me to edit some of these styles. Um, but it's a great way to be able to start to develop and start to, to do your testing, okay? Once you turn that develop menu on in, in Safari, as long as your device is connected, you can just go up there. I do this with my iPad. I do it with my you know iPhone. I've got two versions of iPhone. I got iPhone 4 and I've got iPhone 5S. And I do it for both. I've got like three different iPads I do it for and just go in and do testing. Really pretty cool. So hopefully that makes sense.